Hi there, our channel viewers! So we made tons of videos on our events, students, aircraft, ab initio training, type rating training, cabin crew training, and many more. But there is one thing uniting all of them. A thing without which aviation won't be aviation. A thing which every pilot or enthusiast knows and believes in. His Majesty Altitude. So what is altitude and why is it important? Airplanes have wings and as soon as you get up in the air, question appears. How high? So how can we measure the height? Ok, let's try to figure out some things. Our planet is surrounded by the atmosphere. The higher you get in the air, the less amount of air is above you. Or in other words, you are being exposed by less pressure. In order to measure such pressure difference, there is a special instrument in every aircraft called altimeter. So how it works? If you set your altimeter on zero while being on the ground, then whenever you start climbing, the arrow on the altimeter will start moving. The higher you will go, the lower pressure will be. Therefore, altimeter will detect the higher difference of pressure. Are you still with us? Ok, let's move on. The pressure is measured by the pascal. One pascal is too small for aviation measurements. That is why in aviation we use one hectopascal, which is 100 pascals. One hectopascal pressure difference equals approximately to 30 feet. So if your altimeter was showing zero on the ground, then after takeoff and climb, when pressure difference will be 100 hectopascals, altimeter will show you 3000 feet. 3000 feet is your vertical distance from the level of departure measured by the pressure difference or in other words, altitude. Looks easy, right? But what about mountains? The highest mountain in Europe is Mont Blanc. Its peak is approximately at 4800 meters or 15700 feet measured from the mean sea level. The tricky part is that the mean sea level pressure, also known as QNH, may be different in different places of the world. That is why, in order to fly over the mountain safely, we should use the same datum to calculate our altitude correctly. Such datum is broadcasted for every aerodrome or region. So before the flight, your altimeter should be set according to this datum. When it is being set to the mean sea level pressure while being on the ground, the altimeter would show us the distance from the aerodrome to the sea level, which is also called elevation. Once your aircraft gets up in the air, the altimeter starts counting your distance from mean sea level which, in the ideal conditions of the international standard atmosphere, is your true altitude and this is how you fly over the mountain safely. And this is the beauty of altitude. I hope you find this video helpful. If you would like some other things to be explained, please write your question in the comment area below. And don't forget to subscribe us!